I went from condos to pop's house. On calls, now bus routes. And the one person who had the key to my heart took it and checked out. Yeah, but Big Bro, the thing that I, I never took it as, even when it come down to Eric, I'm just giving my personal, I, I'm giving my personal opinion. Paul P, personal opinion. When it came down to that situation, I never ever looked at it even as you was taking a stand to say something in regards to Eric. To me, the way I looked at it was the big homie want to make sure all these people out here that is saying Nip called Eric a snitch in his face to make sure that all of these people know that ain't what Nip did. So yeah. stop smearing his name by saying this is what he did when he didn't do that. Yeah. So that's the way I took it. I didn't take it as anything well, else but jumped, that because jumped. that's what they yeah. said at first. Yeah, yeah. And then once I addressed that, then they then they, then they jumped. Oh, well, it is. They they jump into one thing for another. Okay. Yeah. Like I said, I did what I did. Not I ain't justifying. I ain't saying I'm right. I ain't saying I'm wrong. Yeah. I know one thing. It ain't fifty niggas calling collect talking about cowboy. I know it ain't. Uh, I know ain't nobody looking for cowboy behind this clown. Yeah. You know what I mean? I know for sure a fact ain't nobody calling collect behind me. So yeah. So But if you didn't do that though, bro, tell me this. How many people you think till this day would still be doing videos about how Nip called Eric a snitch? You you would still oh, see well, no, that's for massive sure. videos. No, that's for sure. Because before you started really coming out and speaking on it, yeah. everybody was putting out everybody a video. Had a conspiracy well, this person. well, it was okay because of this or it wasn't. Everybody had they like, you know, yeah. it was fifty fifty thoughts on if they think that uh Eric was justified or if he wasn't justified yeah. because that's what Nip said. Uh, when you cleared that up, guess what? It got quiet. Uh, Nobody was talking about it anymore uh, when it came down to yeah. what they thought uh, because uh, you put it out there. He never did that. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, so uh, that's the way that, I took it. And that's the only thing that brought me, like I said, had had that had that one thing not been brought up, had social, I'll say social media could have played into a, a big part of that, but had that not been the scenario out there uh, uh that cuz did what he did because Nymph called him a snitch. It would have never involved me. I wouldn't have got on the stand. I wouldn't have did none of those things. You know what I mean? It just that one thing didn't sit right with me. Just that that scapegoat. You know what I mean? It wasn't a like I said, it wasn't never about the time, but you weren't gonna you weren't gonna get no justification like like you was justified what you did. You know, now if you'd have just said, Oh, I was high and I tripped out, I would have believed that. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? That's a, and I, okay, you was high, you tripped out, I could forgive you for something like that, even though you tripped out. I've been high. I done tripped out. So I could I could understand that, but for for your defense or your team to come over that bullshit like Nip calls you a snitch and still press that line, nah, I couldn't go for that anyway. Yeah, you yeah. know what I mean? That just uh yeah, because like I said, I heard the conversation. Snitch never came out of Nip's mouth. Nip was, Nip, was, Nip was honestly looking out for the weirdo. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Honestly, like, bro, you know, take care of that shit. It was a quick conversation. It wasn't no, it wasn't, wasn't no heated conversation. Um, yeah. Going back to what I was talking about, you know, we touched on it a little bit yesterday when it come down to a lot of the, the, the topics, um, you know, um, that's being put out there right now when it comes down to our community. So we touched on about four or five topics yesterday. And I was looking at the topics yesterday and last week and, and the week before that and everything. And I was like, why is almost every topic having something to do with our people, celebrities, black men in general, whatever, dealing with getting locked up for, for gun charges, Rico charges, drug charges, you know, and things like that. I'm like, from celebrities on down to everyday black men. Mm -hmm. These are the topics you see in the news every day. No other cultures, it's always us. I don't care if you're a celebrity. I don't care if you're a millionaire. I don't care if you're on the streets. I don't care who you are. It's always us. Drug charges, gun charges. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, and you constantly see the individual half of the time not even taking accountability it's always i got set up or this or that happened and i'm not saying that those situations don't happen we know that it, that happens too you know with black men you know the most feared in america they did a study on it you know what i'm saying so we know what it is but this is all we seeing out here when it comes down to our community as black men that's being highlighted it's not being highlighted. When we talk about business, like what we talked about last week and what we continue to put out there, that's not being highlighted. Yeah, yeah. When we talking about the changes and things like that, that's not being highlighted. Yeah. You know what's being highlighted? Every media platform talking about what? Boosie getting locked up on a gun charge. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. 
Every media platform is talking about what? Uh, tax don't get in 35 years. For what? Shooting a gun. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Everybody talking about what? Quando Rondo. Getting locked up on drug charges. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I think it's important for us to touch on these topics because we don't just want to talk about it and highlight and, and just, just give the story. We want to kind of like talk about it in a way to where, hey, these are where these are areas we can have changes in when it comes yeah. down to us as black men. Because if this continue on, I mean, we all you're gonna see all the rappers locked up on Rico's. You know what I'm saying? More black men in our community you're going to see getting taken down. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is never going to stop. So that's why I think this is important. So uh, when it comes down to our community, you know, and dealing with, you know, a lot of these gun charges, a lot of these Ricos, you know, drug charges and everything like that. You know, before we jump into some topics, what are your thoughts on that? You know, how these are the highlighted topics that's been, you know, going on, especially in the last couple of months, you know? Yeah. Well, that's just showing us, you know, you got to do the right thing, though. You know, you know, quit putting yourself in the positions where you know, uh, once you once you half-ass making it, quit backslide, quit looking back, quit looking back. You know what I mean? Quit going back to your old ways. You know what I mean? Once you once you finally start to make it, there's no reason to be going backwards. You know, uh, step your team up. You know, uh, look at look at the mistakes that these rappers are making. You know, everybody want to be stupid viral. Everybody want to be on their lives. Everybody want to be so hard. Everybody is like, who can be the most violent? Who can do the most stupidest TikTok video? Who could, you know, it's just, that's the society that we living in. But now, big brother in the sky, he watching everything. Yeah. Everything. So, yeah, so you, y'all making it easy for him. Yeah. For sure, you making it easy for him. You know what I mean? Uh, once you make it to celebrity status and you got, y your voice can move the masses. You know, so g God give the, the, give you that and you got to use it right. Cause you can say one thing and you can move, you can move motherfuckers to mass suicide. You can say something and move motherfuckers. So your voice is powerful. Mm -hmm. So so you got to watch, you know, you got to watch how you carry yourself. You know what I mean? So, you know. When, Everybody's trying to be so hood.